Welcome back to the Gnome Show after midnight, ladies and gentlemen. I am your humble host, Josh, and because I can't get enough of aliens, we are back. Yes, we are back <clears throat> with the <clears throat> excuse me with the UAP Universe season two by uh, Black Bronco Productions. So, uh, if you haven't already, uh, please go on over to. Um, their channel show them some love um, and uh, if you haven't gotten your uh, your your drink your smoke your snack go ahead and do so now uh, and um, when you come back we'll uh, jump right into season two I'm excited um, you know uh, I told you about my um, encounter um, at least what I, I feel is my one true encounter with like uh, aliens in in the um, in the last season, uh, last uh, video I did on the first season of uh, UAP. Um, if you would like to know more, uh, go check it out. Um, not gonna rehash it here, um, but uh, yeah. Um, so. Um, yeah, if you're ready to go, let's let's resort the roll. I don't know. It's late. Um. Five hundred. The Anunnaki were an advanced civilized. Yo, it's like when you're uh when when you um uh were in school and you go to you go on the field trip to the observatory and you go into the star room and everything, and you're sitting there. Yeah, yeah they're talking about to get the home. Oh, get to the book fair next week. Are you, well, are you going to have enough money? You're going to buy some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. I gotta buy some pencils so we do some pencil fight yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then this starts up and you're like whoa and it's super loud but it's super cool looking that lived in a star system called zeta reticuli the ancient sumerians akkadians assyrians and babylonians worshipped them as deities. They decreed the fates of humanity. The Anunnaki taught humanity agriculture, science, mathematics, kingship, law, and the education system. They used to have power over the Earth before they went extinct by damaging the atmospheres of the planets that they lived on. The Anunnaki found Earth through the use of autonomous probes and reached it by utilizing an Einstein-Rosen bridge that they called Nibiru. They constructed a base of operations in order to mine gold after discovering that the planet was rich in the it's like um he's getting this from like uh an ai encyclopedia or something like or this is a history lesson or um you know like just an info blurb on a certain <clears throat> um event in galactic history precious metal this is because of their planets damaged atmospheres, their atmospheric 
processors run on gold. The Anunnaki hybridized their species and Homo erectus via in vitro fertilization in order to create humans as a slave species of miners. The Anunnaki who came to Earth had two leaders, Enlil, who was the legitimate son of Anu, the king on their home planet, and his half-brother Enki, who was the firstborn. They were in charge of the Earth Contingency Plan. Procreation was out of control, angering Enlil. Then came the Great Flood. Bro, that's just a bird on uh, on cocaine he found in the ocean. Like he he thought it was a a, a really big cracker. He started eating and uh, uh, getting into it, and then all of a sudden, he's uh, he's got um, uh, the Top Gun soundtrack in his head, and he is moving as fast as little little avian body can carry him on the finest, hardiest win in existence. My plane. What should I do? Danger <laughs> Oh, I wasn't uh Be not afraid. Um no. <laughs> I mean that that doesn't make me not afraid. Seeing weird shit for a long time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think we uh we have uh uh church records, like uh historical records of seeing that stuff in the sky. said the ones that made it out of light are, are benevolent. But the solid ones, like even with the blinking lights, are, are, uh, are not friendly.
Subject found in backyard next to their skin, which was flayed off their body. Ew. That's just gross. Next to his skin. A damn. Like, like, insult to injury. Like, now lay down and look at that. Look at it. alive but endured irreparable psychological damage Subject found dead, with the crop circle pattern burned into their skin, over their entire body. Oof. That's rough. Okay, you're our billboard now. You're a warning. Subject missing. Assumed to have been consumed by the object. Oh my. That is definitely fucking not friendly. It's like a Pokemon if it was real and nightmare. Subject's body found burnt beyond recognition, later identified through forensic analysis. Subject missing. Their car was found on the same road, standing up on its backside. Subject's eyes were found inside the car. Their dog was found standing outside of the car, pointing its nose in the last known direction of the object. The dog was alive, but frozen in place. It was recovered by agents and analyzed before being put down after showing no signs of brain activity. Poor puppy. Conclusion of Assessment of the United States government.
Yeah, trying to keep your camera steady and track something with uh, like uh, that far away with any degree of um, fidelity is super hard. <clears throat> One second. After viewing the tape, federal agents became interested and were able to find the filmmaker's contact information. The filmmaker identified himself as Ezekiel, though agents suspected this was an alias. They communicated with Ezekiel through a series of phone calls and requested an in-person interview for a more detailed account. On April 4th, 1994, Ezekiel spoke to agents on a recorded phone call and stated that he would consider the offer and would call them again to tell them the time and date he would be available for the meeting to take place. following the initial phone call on the 4th, agents received no voice messages or calls from Ezekiel. They called the number he used several times, but it was found to be no longer in service. After a month, agents gave up their efforts to contact Ezekiel after failing to communicate with him. released the video to the public and requested that anyone contact them if they have further information on the footage. On July 27, 1994, agents received a call from a woman stating she had seen the video before and that belonged to her son, Michael, redacted. She was told that Michael had contacted agents through his personal cell phone number a few months prior but stated that this was impossible because Michael had been missing for nearly two years. August 13, 1994, agents received the news that 23-year-old Michael Redacted's body had been discovered 22 miles from the location of the footage in a densely wooded area. His body was found in a serious state of decay, and coroners had estimated that he had died a year prior. <clears throat> there were also precise saw marks found throughout his spine and other bones that were unlikely to be the cause of scavenging animals. Ew, that's creepy. Michael's mother was presented with the recorded phone call that the agents received a year and four months after Michael's death. She was questioned by investigators and confirmed that the voice on the other end was strikingly similar to her son's. Agents were never able to determine what was speaking to them in that phone call. Document observations. It was me.
Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So that was UAP Universe Season 2. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I always love me some alien stuff. Um, and uh, I do believe there is, yes, there is Season 3. Um, I might do it tonight. I don't know. But um, comment down below uh, if you have any uh, weird um, alien experiences. Uh, if you do believe in aliens, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you go on over to uh, Black Bronco Productions and give them some love. But uh, with that, ladies and gentlemen, I love you all. Be safe, happy, and healthy. And I'll see you in the next one.